Hello, welcome back to the garage. Um, an awful lot shorter time from the last time I recorded a video because I've literally just finished recording that video. And um, I've just been onto Instagram, had a little look around the socials, and there's been a couple of people ask about um, identifying the cams. Um, so I posted a couple of pictures of um, the cams, the RS and the LT cams side by side um, on Instagram. And um, so I thought I would do a quick run through on how to identify them and what the differences are. Oh dear. Ooh, fire. You don't need a special tool, you need a special tin. Okay, so here you can see four different cams. Now, usually you identify cams by a part number. So this part number here is the same as that part number there, is the same as that part number there, is the same as that part number there. So they all come from the same blank. Um, there's different casting markings just here but it's really difficult to kind of find out what these mean, if they even mean anything. So um, the way you identify these cams is with these grooves. So different cams, different grooves, and it's the distance the grooves are from the end that counts. Now, hopefully I'll be able to find and splash up on the screen the um, image from the technical manual that details how you tell apart what is what. Okay, now that you've seen that, you'll be able to see that one single groove means inlet cam, or three grooves means inlet cam. This is the RS inlet, this is the LT cam inlet. Now, if you were to look side by side, you'll see this cam looks considerably taller and it's considerably wider, so the duration is visible and lift. It's visibly very different. Um, I believe these are around a 250 degree um, cam with less lift. These are a 280 degree with more lift. So, you know, there's quite a, uh, a visible difference between them. Um, but if you haven't spotted that and you don't know which cam goes where, the only way to tell them apart is by the grooves. So, RS inlet cam, one groove. LT inlet cam, three grooves. And it's grooves with two together, a bigger gap, and then another groove. With the uh, exhausts, the RS cam has no grooves, and the LT exhaust cam has just two grooves. You'd think they do one, zero, one, two, three, or something, but no. Um, and as for the uh, exhaust profile, again, much, much more lift and much, much longer on the duration. Um, interestingly, all of the standard cams run a base circle diameter of 30 mil. So theoretically, there's very little difference between changing out a set of RS cams to a set of uh, LT cams. So uh, the theory I'm going on is I'm gonna get the RS cams set up on my head, get all the clearances checked, and then I'm gonna get another set of clearances done for the LT cams so that I can mix and match, try an LT inlet with an RS exhaust, an RS inlet with an LT exhaust, um, and just see what gives on two LTs, two RSs, you know how it works. But just to see what gives the best performance um, for my engine. Because um, not too many people have done the long stroke 16 valve route. A lot of them go short stroke because it likes to rev. So I've done something different. Um, so my engine should still be able to rev because as much as it is a long stroke crank, I've used forged pistons, lightweight rods, and it's got the Cooper S um, rod bearings so hopefully that will um, lighten the rotating assembly to still give me the available revs um, I'm reckoning this engine is going to be on the RS cams all done by about seven and a half maybe eight thousand rpm um, now I'm aware that that sounds like a lot for a stroked crank but the guys that race with these cranks 
they'll pull more revs than that um, on a regular basis and they just say to keep an eye out on the wear on the centre main so I'll get a dynode drive it around a bit get used to it and then the plan is at winter time take it apart see how much damage there is and hope for the best um, and if that doesn't work or the uh, engine doesn't seem to be liking the RS cams I can do the mix and match or I can swap it over to LTs altogether and it should be a fairly easy swap over with them um, unbolt the cam change the buckets over to what I need put the cam in time it up away you go um, so obviously there will need to be mapping differences there but that's not my department so um, right a uh, short and sweet video this one just covering the differences in the LT and RS cams um, yeah I will see you on the next one